Dairy milk in two states, have te that's, they've tested positive for bird flu. Federal officials, federal officials say this is the first time the virus has been detected in cows. This is interesting, Dr. Mm -hmm. Simone Wilds, an infectious disease specialist at South Shore Health and concerning doctor. That's right, good to see you, doctor. You know, we, we know bird flu spreads quickly among chickens, other poultry. Why are we now seeing it in cows? Mm -hmm. Yes, Jessica, you know, it's very unusual to see bird flu in cows. And as you mentioned, you know, this is something that we see common in chicken and poultry. Well, with regards to transmission, we're not very clear as to how this happened. Is it directly from the birds to the cow or between cow to cow? Not clear. A lot of research needs to be done on this. And the Department of Agriculture is looking at this. Do you know which states I'm, I'm going to say, I want to be able to say it's, it's not Massachusetts or anywhere in the New England area. Do you know, doctor? Yeah, absolutely. It's in Texas, Kansas, and also in New Mexico. So three states so far, but nothing in Massachusetts. Okay, so the U.S. Department of, Ag good, the, for now, the U.S. <laughs> Department of Agriculture already released a statement saying that the nation's commercial milk supply is safe. Do you agree with that? Yes, I think the milk supply is safe. Two things to bear in mind is that the process of pasteurization actually is very good for making sure to inactivate the virus um, in the flu virus um, that can occur in the cows. And also only healthy food is served um, in the food supply. Only healthy animals are used in the food supply, sorry. Okay, but now that we know cows can get infected, do you think anything needs to change? Well, you know, Jessica, I think we've learned a few things over the years that whenever there's an outbreak and a new disease, then of course we need to increase the surveillance. Now that we're seeing these cases in cattle, I would say the same thing applied. Increase the surveillance, increase the monitoring of the cattle moving forward. Again, we want to make sure that everyone is healthy and well, including our cattle. That's for sure. All right, Dr. Simone Wilds, thank you so much for joining us. As always, stay well, doctor.